in Alabama having a great time coon hunting. That's right. The dogs are out running them, chasing them, treeing them. And I tell you what, these coon hunters are dedicated, just like my buddy Josh behind the camera. Folks, hang on, because when we come back, we're going to go back into the woods with my buddy Josh and see if he can harvest him a great big rack daddy fallow deer. Man, that's what I'm talking about right there. Coon hunting. Folks, we're down here with Ken Reed, my good buddy. He's behind the camera. They've got a monster fallow deer on the place, and they just had not been able to close the deal, but we've been up here for three days, and it seems like every day the deer come into this little pocket here. So we came over and checked it out. We found a big community scrape out about 70 yards. There's rubs in here. The trees are tore up. We've been out here hunting hard. We, we got our stands, moved our stands in here during the middle of the day. And we think uh, this is where it's going to happen. And they're coming in here every day, so we're going to try to ambush them right here. Just give them some time and see what happens. Now, Josh and I, we're set up in a hardwood bottoms. And of course, as soon as we get set up, it begins to rain. And of course, we all know rain and video equipment, they just don't mix. You see, Josh has had a bad time this year. He's had a real hard time on getting set up on some animals. So after a hard season of whitetail hunting, I told Josh, buddy, it's time for you to go harvest your first fallow deer with a bow. And you know, with all the rain coming down, I just thought, you know, not again. This can't be happening. You know, every time I get Josh in the woods to harvest an animal, bam, something goes wrong. And after hunting these deer for a couple of hard long days, finally, finally, something started to happen.
guess what time it is. It is hammer time. <laughs> Golly, that's a big old fella. It took us forever to get a shot at that deer. He come up there and stopped. I had some brush in my way, but I figured I might as well go ahead and take it in that arrow. It sailed right through there perfect. I think I got a good shot. Man, that's a good one. It is hammer time. Give me some of them taters right there, son. That's a good foul there, folks. I think I got him good. Ooh, we'll give him a minute. We'll get down and go see. Man, there are deer in here everywhere. We made a shish kebab out of him. So that's what I'm talking Finally, after the rain stops, the sun comes out. And bam, Josh delivers the era to the pump station. I'm telling you what, I couldn't be more happy for anybody else that I've ever hunted with to see Josh finally break his streak of bad luck. Now, if we can just find a buck, now, of course, everybody knows the first step to recovering your big rack daddy is to recover your arrow to find out what kind of shot you actually placed on that arrow. Golly, it was a good hit. Folks, that's what you practice all year long for right there, that one second where you can place that arrow where it needs to be. We're gonna see if we can find the blood and start, to, here's blood right here. We'll start tracking them up. Blood. Blood. Let's see here. See that? There's some blood. Blood here, blood on the side of this tree here. Blood, he's going right up through here. He's hit good. Well, after about an hour of tracking, the blood was dwindling down and we weren't finding much sign. Man, we've been tracking this deer for a while, Ken. I was sure it was a good shot and we just, I mean, the blood's getting thin and while Josh looks for his big rack daddy, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. There he is right there. There he is. Golly, look at, he's got long tines, he's got, look at the, the palmation, man, is huge. As big as my mass, he's got huge mass all the way up. That is a fine fallow deer right there. He's got a little kicker right there. Yeah, I'd say that's a, a four and a half year old deer right there. Folks, we, we come out today and, uh, we got into our stands uh, late late afternoon. Well, it was early afternoon, and uh, and the weather's been bad. It's been foggy, mist, and rain all day. A good deer to a good day to deer hunt, uh, but unfortunately, with us filming, Ken Ken said we had to get that camera out of the rain, and uh, we were just fixing to get down, and this buck come running the does up through there, come right into our setup. We had a uh, I was hunting out of a, a ladder stand and Ken actually had his climber above me and it, it was a good setup and everything worked out right and it's when you least expect it folks, a deer like this show up. 